Hello and welcome again. In this video, we're going to continue con uh, tweaking the pop sim. So we have, so we can add a little bit more uh, variation to the sim that we have and add collision to the geometry. Now I've uh, wrote the, out the uh, the source, the pop source, and I also wrote out the uh, result of this of the dissolve effect, so we don't have to catch it every time. And I noticed that uh, in Houdini 16, the ramp needs a little bit of uh, jiggling for it to um, to make it work again so I was moving just a tiny bit one of the numbers and putting it back again and that triggers it and then I cashed out both of them so now I have all the data I need and the first thing I'm going to do is I want to introduce collision so I'm going to go back to the uh, bare uh, geometry and I'm going to create a low res version of this because it's a very high res version. I'm going to use VDB from Polygon. I want to convert this into a volume. And I'm going to set it to 0, 2, 5. And that should give me uh, a uh, good SDF representation. And then I'm going to convert that into a, a mesh. So I'm going to use convert VDB node. And that will give us. Uh, a low res version you can see we have how much 80,000 pretty much versus 1.1 million and I'm going to um, just add a facet sob to add some normals to it make sure that it has normals and I'm going to put down a, a null and call this out there static and I also want to uh, export my own VDB representation so I can use it in the pop uh, uh, in the pop sim and we have already the SDF that we need so I'm gonna call this out bare VDB and I'm gonna go back to the uh, pop and I'm going to create a static object and let's point out to the out bare static and under collision I'm gonna change it to volume I'm gonna sample my own VDB and let's connect this put down a merge node here and connect these two guys I'm gonna hide the bear I don't need to see it and now if we hit play we should be able to see the collision that we need it's bouncing a lot right now so I'm gonna change that change the physical properties of the of the static geo and I'm going to reduce the bounds to 0.2 and that's let's see I think we also have yeah that's it I'm going to also reduce it on the ground and let's add a little bit more friction 1.5 and 2 let's make the ground uh, have a higher friction and now if I hit play Goal, we get that intersection nice and then I'm going to add a little bit more uh, a little bit of noise uh, so I'm gonna put down a pop force you know set this to 0.5 and this force size to 2 and I'd like I always like to layer them so I'm gonna copy that and make another one with uh, less amplitude and smaller size and I'm going to add a pop drag just to drag everything a little bit so pop drag I'm gonna set it to 0.1 and I think that's pretty much it this should give us uh, a decent result to uh, to use for the blend between the two versions and I'm gonna cache till frame 120 uh, let me increase the let me increase the cache here just in case and let's go up let's stop and now if I take it the uh, these points and sample the texture 
we can see that we have the gold version and if we merge all of this we should be able to get the uh, the result that we need now if you zoom in you're going to see the gaps between the points and this you just have to increase the number of points that you scattered here that's all you don't have to change anything just increase it more to fill in all the gaps and so we don't see any any holes between uh, uh, in the geo and i'm gonna just play blast this and this is exactly the same result it's well not exactly but just a tiny bit different uh, i think i have um, more points here and i'm dissolving between the muddy and the gold version and the advantage of this is we don't need any rendering everything is happening in the viewport and we can easily swap the textures if we uh, if we decided to do that we can easily change it so let's hit play and you can see it's working and this is the previous uh, the previous version and i think that's pretty much it i hope you guys liked it and uh hopefully uh uh, you guys will uh, I hope you guys liked it and uh, see you next time bye bye